This is Pat O'Brien with Baru, and I am doing a video on the sales insights um, for VTiger On Demand. And uh, it's a great tool. And I'll just kind of run through quickly um, some of the features that can really give you some insight into your sales team to try to help you manage them better. First thing is there is a date filter up top. I have this set to uh, the current year. Uh, and then you can filter by um, uh, by these other different uh, capabilities. You can filter by uh, groups or roles. Sometimes that can be helpful if you have different uh, sales divisions. Um, filter by sales stage, I find that's not very helpful. Just uh, show, You really want to show everything. But um, and sometimes you want to take a look by created date versus expected close date. But most of the time it's expected close date, I think, is what is helpful. Uh, here's a quick breakdown of uh, the open opportunities. Again, this is the overview screen here. This is just telling you... Um, uh, uh, the total uh, pipeline and breakdown in the different uh, uh, categories. And then this is uh, your, during the period, your one opportunities. It shows your ratio one to loss at a glance as well. Um, opportunity age, um, uh, just because I'm working on a demo system here, it's set to zero, but this will tell you the average age of your opportunity. You don't want to let it get too old. Um, and then it kind of gives you a breakdown of uh, the top performers on the team. And um, then a quick list of top opportunities, your top five opportunities. Um, the uh, a couple key stats, total amount average opportunity amount for individuals there, and then a uh, summary of any lost opportunities. Then just kind of scroll through here. Um, uh, activity count, you know, are, are people um, making calls and sending emails? Um, you can kind of at a glance see who's doing more, who's doing less. Um, again, you have the filters up on top that you can control, but usually it's best to set it in the overview and then just scroll through each of these. This is a pretty cool one here. This shows you... Um, uh, the correlation between activities and success. So um, here you've got uh, lots of activity and lots of success, and here you have uh, no activity and no success. So um, uh, you know, ideally for each of your salespeople, it's a way to kind of reinforce: hey, you do more work, you get more results. And then you get the individual numbers uh, down here. Uh, moving into the pipeline reports. Um, this is a, uh, a pretty cool one here. This one shows uh, for bigger opportunities, are you putting in more activity? So the bigger the circle, the more the activity. In this case, there's only one activity per. Um, but uh, if you're, uh, for your bigger opportunities, you want to see a bigger circle. Smaller opportunities down at the bottom, you want to see a smaller uh, number of activities. And then here's uh, the detail broken down by opportunity as well. Uh, overall pipeline value. This just uh, kind of a good give you a good sense of what your uh, uh, forecast looks like. Um, you know, what does the pipeline look in the months ahead, look like in the months ahead, and then what does each individual look like as well? Uh, this is your traditional funnel here. Are you kind of um, uh, are you filling up the top of the funnel, and uh, does the bottom of the funnel uh, look full enough as well? And then you have the breakdown by. Uh, you're going to more detail by uh, stage here as well. And this is showing you um, uh, the average duration uh, uh, for to move from one stage to the next. It's pretty cool. And uh, uh, this is uh, some more breakdown by individual sales rep here. And moving into the sales results, um, this just shows a different color line for each person. Not sure exactly why they do... Um, uh, future months before uh, older months, but uh, that's what they do. And um, uh, so just kind of a quick summary of uh, sales results by user. And then lost reason analysis. So for the ones for uh, close lost, um, if you fill in a reason, it'll show you that on this chart right here. So again, sales insights, um, that is included in the sales professional version. Um, which currently is $20 per month. It is not included in the sales starter package, uh, which is $10 per month.